Hey everybody, happy March. I know I'm very late with this post, but I am in the throes of several different lines of effort between my day-to-day -day job and serving those like you who are struggling with their grief. You know, I'm moving as well. I'm actually moving here tomorrow and I'm planning uh, a, a lot of new activities and I'm actually excited for this move and, and I wasn't always like that. Grief makes our lives feel like our steps are sticky. You know, that we're stepping through tar and every time we try to take a step forward, it feels like there's something that might be holding us back. But what I'm reminded of is that when we're grieving and we're moving through the seasons of our lives, we're... Uh, one of the reasons why I'm moving. <laughs> But when we're moving through the seasons of our lives, we can see that other things, life still goes on. We can see that other things emerge from their darkness or their seasons. For example, I'm down here in Florida and the seasons do change, albeit very subtly. But you know, every springtime, I've been here now two years and every springtime I see some very powerful change in a couple of areas. One with the plants and, that I have uh, in my on my lanai here. Uh, I have two trees and it's gonna be kind of hard to see just given the filter that I'm using, but this behind me is a grapefruit tree. Uh, it's so blurry, I'm so sorry, but it's very blurry, but let me zoom out here. And this tree is now almost seven feet tall. I planted this tree and this other tree in the corner here, this other grapefruit tree from seeds back uh, about a year or so after I got divorced from Zoe's mom. So I've had these trees now for 17 years and I am just so excited when I see that they're growing and every season they, they regrow or they grow new uh, branches. And for example, let me show you this thing right here. So this right here is a new growth that popped out just recently. And I always get so amazed by seeing that, that when I think that something can't grow anymore or it's stunted or it's stuck that it reemerges every season and i think the same ha same thing happens with us in grief i showed you just a small branch that is growing uh that's kind of what happens with our grief uh as a metaphor you know uh, we have our lives as they are they may be messy they may not be there may be certain parts that are dying off um, but there's other places where we grow and we reemerge and we take new shape, if you will. It becomes the new normal, even though we don't want that, even though, you know, our lives aren't going to be the same after we lose our loved one. But, but in the regrowth of our lives, when we reemerge from our grief, we really can find a lot of hope that, that the new dynamic, that new, uh, sense of growth will actually help us continue to move forward on our steps so as always guys i hope this helps sorry for all the background noise um, um that's one of the reasons why i'm moving so anyway i hope this helps and we will talk to you guys next month hey i really hope that this video message has helped you to take one more step forward on this journey because i know that none of this is easy for you navigating grief is one of the hardest things that we will have to endure and I'm proud of you for watching videos just like this because it tells me that you are wanting to find a path forward towards feeling better, or at least you're looking for a mindset shift to help you if you're stuck right now. But no matter what your reason is for being here, the more that you do fight for your better days, the better chance you have of reaching them. And so if this video did help you, please let me know in a comment below. Tell me what's working. Tell me what's not working. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please be sure to click the subscribe button below. And I'm going to continue to come in here to provide expert grief tips, as well as to provide suggestions for other resources to help you on this journey, podcast episodes, and also free grief support tools that you can apply immediately to your day. I'm really grateful for you being here. I'm your guide, Eric Hodgson. So let's continue to walk together.